Welcome back to Hey Kentucky. Last week, I sat down with former UK lineman Logan Stenberg as he prepares for a professional career. Tonight, part two of the interview focuses on his life off the field. What is your prep like now that you, as you prepare for the combine, what are you kind of doing on the daily to get ready? Yeah, you know, just working out here at UK still, um, staying with the guys here and Coach Hill and uh, Coach Edmund, and, you know, they're kicking our butt in there. So uh, just working out every day from 11 to 2 and trying to take care of my body best I can. How big is it that Vince stayed? Huge. You know, big dog's got to eat. And, uh, <laughs> he, he's, we, were not, we were on pins and needles now. Big dog is the man. I love Coach Mero. He's awesome. We need him at this uh, university, and uh, we're glad he stayed. When you look to the future of this program, what do you see? Uh, the sky's the limit. I mean, I see us competing for SEC championships, national championships. We just got to take that one step. You know, we're recruiting better and we've changed the culture. It's just time to do it now. Put it all together and, and get there. So when Lynn won all those awards, he praised you guys all the time. Um, was, did you feel like you had a big role in him doing what he did this year? As an offensive lineman, we take pride in that for sure, but uh, let's not take anything from Lynn. He's an incredible athlete, and he, uh, he makes us look good when we're not doing very well. So um, if our hole's not very big, he's going to make it look huge, and he makes no plays into great plays. So, uh, you know, I try to take some credit, but I can't take much of it, honestly. Lynn is a great player. There's going to be some other guys that you'll probably be um, seeing in the NFL from there. Landon, mm -hmm. I would imagine. Who, who else do you think's got that potential? Yeah, Drake. Landon Drake. You know, we got our young right tackle, Darian Kennard, that's going to be a great player. I think he's got a great opportunity as well. So uh, there's a lot of future NFL guys on the UK football team for sure. So I said we had something in common being called nasty. But what has never happened to me is I've never been duct taped to, duct taped to oh, a table. You dug deep, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Talk to me about being duct taped to a table and how that helps to lead you to where you are today. Yeah, I grew up with three older brothers. and uh, Much older, much right? Much older, yeah. Uh, 15, 16 years older than me. So, um, you know, they hated taking care of their little brother. I would too. And I would get on their nerves and... Um, one day after school, I just pushed them too far. So they took the coffee table and a roll of duct tape and, uh, you know, duct taped me to that table and put me out <laughs> in the driveway and waited for mom to come home. <laughs> and I don't think they'll ever do it again because they got beat for that. But um, <laughs> Well, you're also 6'6". Six, six. Yeah. I doubt they'll be able to do exactly, that Exactly. Not anymore. Yeah. I, I outweigh them now. But, uh, yeah, you know, I credit it all to them, you know. They made me tough. They uh, taught me how to, you know, not cry to mom. So uh, it, was, it was great. Yeah, so I would imagine that that does give you not just physical toughness but a mental toughness to deal with these guys who are beating the tar out of you of course yeah you know we used to have boxing gloves too we'd handle everything with boxing gloves so we go out there and they just wail on me wail on me and the number one rule you can't cry to mom if you're gonna come out here and play with us you can't cry to mom so you know i just had to learn to deal with it so what are their thoughts now as they get ready to see their tiny little brother getting his shot in the NFL. Yeah, you know, they're just happy for me. They're excited to be along for the ride and uh, just, you know, enjoy every second of it. And I'm glad they're with me. So what, aside from football, do you like? What, what, is, what is Logan like off the football field? Yeah, I grew up, you know, hunting and fishing, whitetails on my family's farm and uh, doing that. I have a one-year-old golden retriever puppy that I love hanging out with. And uh, that's it, you know, just stay low key, hang out. Love watching Netflix, but... Uh, all of that stuff. What do you watch on Netflix? Oh, I just, I'm a crime guy. So I like the crime yeah. and the murder shows and all that, all the weird stuff I, I'm, I'm really into. Listen, we'll talk after I got a bunch of podcasts Perfect. for you to listen to I'm as, 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 as well. Have you watched Ozark? I have. I've watched okay. all that. Great show. Okay. Love good. It. <laughs> all right. Um, so if you had a dream spot, would it be the Tennessee Titans? Yeah, Is that I'd love what to I'm be hearing? the Titans. You know, it's uh, right in between. Grew up in Alabama, here in Kentucky. I'd love to be right in the middle. So it would be perfect. But you, at the end of the day, you're going to go. I'm going to be happy wherever I end up. Awesome. Yes, ma'am. What, what did you think of the Super Bowl? Uh, you know, I didn't really have a dog in the race, but it was incredible talent out there. Patrick Mahomes is a man. So uh, watching him come back and win the game like that, it was, it was really impressive. Listen, Logan, I'm right there with you on the crime. Love it. All right, still ahead on Hey Kentucky, a game of fill in the blank. We're going to cover several more topics, including the pizza pickup order that turned into an arrest for the Letcher County Sheriff. Don't go away.